Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I'm sitting in my accent chair because I still don't have furniture. So today is the 6th of June when I'm recording this and my um, Macy's is supposed to reach out to me on the 12th when my chair is in stock. Now, if it doesn't come in on the 12th, I'll call them and see what options that we have. I do have some iced coffee in my coffee because adulting is hard cup. Mm. And so it was hot coffee and then I ran to Target and came back and then it became cold coffee. So I have a Dollar Tree haul for you today. That's why you're here. And it's a fairly big one, I think. I mean, it's not huge. There's enough. All right, let's get started. I found these, which I think they're 18 inch. Yes, these are 18 inch reeds. They're huge. So I grabbed two, I have no plans for them, but um, you know, they're always nice to have this size. I don't see them often at my stores. Um, what I will not do is the deco mesh. I'm kind of over that, so we'll see. Um, I do have a DIY coming up tomorrow. You'll see it tomorrow where I'm making a wreath for my front door and my cousins. So check that out tomorrow. But I grabbed those for whatever, who knows. Everything is still in bags too. Okay, I found a two pack of these. They're the Wonder Woman pens because we need Wonder Woman pens, right? And this, the color on the cap is the color of the ink. I don't know how they write, to be honest with you, but I grabbed two. So I'm starting to collect um, planner stuff for myself for next year. I've been doing that, but for Sarah, my niece, who's a teacher, I'm starting to collect some stuff for her. Fun fact, I ordered this pen. And this is made by Pentel. It is the um, Enter... Energize Chloe, Clona? I don't know, it's a gel pen, but it's fantastic. It's linked below. If you click on my Amazon affiliate link and go into the office supply tab, these pens are listed and they are fantastic. Now I will warn you, one pen is $6. Well worth it for me. It may not be worth it for you. Side note, I found some fun new stuff. First of all, in the barbecue section, they have this mat, which um, is, you know, like the, the gingham, the red and white gingham stuff for barbecues. Thought this would be super cute in my kitchen for summer. I put my coffee pot on top of these. But what I also like is the back is solid navy blue, which is fun. So it's not black, it's navy. That's always a fun thing. Um, I grab these all the time. I love sitting my coffee pot on it. I can slide it out from under the counter. It absorbs any spills that I make and then I just wash them. But I just grabbed one of those. Um, I'm not going in any order, but fun find guys, window clings. These are privacy clings. They're calling it frosted window film. You get one piece. It is adhesive. Um, and it says seaside panel for available design. So they come uh, in the floral and then they have like um, a waffle grid. I got two of the floral. I don't think I'm gonna use them on my windows, but I might attach, ooh, that's aggressive. I might attach them to some window uh, picture frames. I, and I'm also gonna try to see if I can cut it in my Cricut. I don't know. <clears throat> I don't know, but I thought it was fun. Each piece is not measured, so I don't know how big each piece is, but I grabbed two and it's from the Home Collection, Dollar Tree brand. I also found for my cousin, the Speed Stick in Surfside Rush and Sandalwood Smash. So fun fact, my little cousin, it goes to college in the fall. 
Mm, they smell good and they're name brand. So he'll be living in the dorms. So I'm stocking up when I see name brand stuff for him. And I told his mom, I got him some shower gel for a dollar. I think that's pretty fantastic. And he's a stinky boy. He'll need this. So actually I need to leave that out so I can send it over to his mother. Same, same cousin that I'm making the wreath for. So when I drop the wreath off, I'll drop that stuff off for him. I picked up another one of these mesh bags. I'm gonna go around my house and collect all of my masks and just store them in here. Mine broke. Did it break or I lost? I don't know, I can't find it. But I grabbed one of these. It's just a lingerie, lingerie bag that you can actually use to launder your lingerie. And it comes with a two pack, three pack. I lied, there's three of them in here. I only need the one for now. Um, I think I may have gave the other one to Sarah. But anyway, I'm gonna put all of my clean masks in here. I do keep some in my car, so I'll continue to do that. But I'm at a point now here in Ohio and as a fully vaccinated person that unless the store requires it or the place of business requires it, I don't have to wear a mask. You know also what would be good when you go to the grocery store and you buy loose produce. You could just put it in here instead of using the plastic bags. And yeah, I have some produce bags, but they're almost the same size. So if you buy loose tomatoes or whatever, you put them in here, you may pay like a couple pennies more for the weight, but you're not wasting plastic bags. Just a thought. But I did grab those for my mask. Um, I found some more metal stuff. Okay, let's see this. Guys, I'm a mess today. I found at my store, I'm super excited, the little tree on a stand, and I absolutely love it. And I know I have a very hard time painting these, but this morning when I was working on um, getting some pieces ready to do my wreath, I used my um, Cricut and cut out a word and it ha attached it, and it works great. So if you have stickers, you don't have to have a Cricut, any stickers will work on here, any wording will work on here and it sticks perfectly. So I grabbed this little tree because I think that will be fantastic for fall. I think I'm gonna make an apple tree and put like red apples on it. I just think that'll be fun. And then I found several of these. I only got two. Ooh. Okay, we'll fix that. But these are the, uh, what are they calling it? Metal bottle cap signs. I have to figure out if you do the design on the inside or the outside. I only got two because I'm planning on making in, I'm planning on doing a um, Christmas in July series. So for one week around the end of July, every day I'll have a Christmas idea coming up and I'll be, and I'm going to tell you in my Dollar Tree hauls, the things I believe I'm going to use. It's not firmed up yet, but I'm trying to get everything I can from the Dollar Tree for that series. I'm just putting the hanger back on it. But I love this and I want to do like a picture on here and make it a Christmas decor and then like, you know, maybe a bow or something. So I grabbed two. I like, for me, I like to grab two because my crazy says so and because um, if I'm crafting and I make a mistake, like I may never see these again. So I grabbed the two. If they don't make a mistake, I will create two and then I just give them to my family. My niece Sarah will like this for her house or my cousin. So I found those two metal pieces, which I'm super excited for because they have not been at my store at all. Um, I did grab one more pack of masks. So these are red, just plain red masks. Um, and these are the 10 packs because I, I just wanna make sure I have what I need, right? You wanna make sure you have what you need. So let's just do this in case in case something happens and we have to go back to wearing masks or whatever, my store only, you know, was running out of these. And if I get sick, I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. I've enjoyed not having sickness the last year and a half. Like I have not had a cold or flu or anything in the last year and a half. So I'll just store them in here like that. And just to have, I don't, you know, I don't think there's anything 
wrong with being prepared. We don't know if this pandemic is open, over. We don't know if there's another one coming. So I would rather just have what I need. Right? Right. Now, some of you will be like, ew. And some of you will be like, ooh. I found planters, salt and vinegar peanuts. What? They are delicious. Now, I... Happen to love salt and vinegar. They're very strong. I think I opened one of them. Yep, sure did. They're very potent. There's a lot of powdery goodness on them. I think last year they had Chipotle maybe or a different flavor, but for a dollar, this is a fantastic snack for me. Um, especially like take to the pool or whatnot, but I love peanuts. So I grabbed two of those because again, you just never know you know, when they're going to be gone. I found for Sarah, now she's my vegetarian niece. They have the Loma Linda brand, which is actually vegan. And this is a plant-based seafood alternative that's good for you and the planet. And it's a lemon pepper fake tuna fish in a can. And it's made from, I don't even know what it is it's gluten-free non-gmo and it's good until may 7th of 2023 so you open it just like you would tuna you eat it like you would tuna and this is lemon pepper so i thought she would like that the other one that they had the was the same brand but it was in sriracha and she does not do hot food so and that would be very spicy Anything sriracha that I've ever tried has been very spicy. So I, I avoided that for her and just got her this to try. If she likes it, I'll grab more if I see it. She, you know, she's my plant-based girl. Then we're going to try this, guys. I grabbed for myself the Hard Candy Lip Liner and Gloss that goes over it. And then I got the Liquid Katsu Metallic Lipstick to go together. Let's see if I can do a little swatchy swatch for you. We got time, right? And I liked the color. So you get the lip liner, comes on it. Ooh, that is pretty. I enjoy that. Let's try it. Sure, I'm looking in the, in the camera. Okay. I'll even scooch up. I love that color lip liner. And then it comes with a highlight. So what it says is use a pink lipstick this is not really pink um i have tons of pink upstairs but i'm trying to get it open and this is i've heard really good things i watched some beauty gurus or these young girls that love the makeup and they are all kind of saying that this cat suit from wet and wild is decent so let's swatch it and then put it on. Now, the one thing I will tell you I love, ooh, that's pretty. Mmm, <gasps> uh, very smooth. I don't know if it's like, we're gonna see if it stays. Is what I love about some lipsticks is you put them on and they stay. And now you're supposed to put this uh, lip highlighter over it. So let's see what it looks like. <gasps> Pretty. So that's the liner, the lipstick, and the highlight. Ooh, gives you a little sparkle. There we go. I have my makeup. So that little $2 duo, I'm liking. And I think this cat suit is one that dries and stays. 
which is fantastic. So I'm glad I gave this little setup to my cousin, my little cousin, too, because um, oh, I have it static to my finger, guys. Okay, I'm a mess today. Did I tell you that? Hmm. Yeah, it dried. It's going to stay. I like it. So if you see this liquid cat suit or the hard candy, I like them both. And I think they're a nice summer color. All right, I got for my car, it's a PVA chamois towel. I haven't tried one of these yet. Um, oh, I like the container though. I feel like they sold these separately for pens or something similar. It comes moist. Um, what I need it for or want it for is when I run my car through the car wash, it doesn't always um, get clean. I mean, it gets clean, but there are spots that um, don't. So I have to open up, because of the shape of my car, I open up my back end and I wipe it all down because there's dirt and stuff. And this will be perfect for that. It is. It does feel like a chamois. Like it's gonna absorb a lot of moisture and then you squeeze it all out and it, you know you reuse it. This is fantastic. Now, I will also tell you for camping, backpacking, anytime you're out in your car and you want quick, easy cleanup, because these will dry and they're super absorbent. So for backpacking, I would just cut a corner of this off and have it for cleaning up messes, cleaning up my dishes, washing my hands, whatever. And when it dries, it weighs nothing. It does smell a little funky, so I'll wash it with some soap and water maybe. Does it tell me how to care for it? Super, uh, super absorbent, scratch and lint free machine washable. So yeah. And then you can stick it back in here. Like I will do that, because I'm not washing my car right now. So I would just roll it up like that. It's still moist because that's how it came. And then I will shove it down in here and I'll put it in my car. And then when I go to the car wash or if I wash my car outside, um, this will help me not always have it. You can also use it to wipe down the interior of your car, but I'm gonna use it to wipe off the outside. And I'm waiting and I'll do a video, but I somehow, tell me in the comments below, have you ever had a rock hit your car and you got a chip so deep it went down to the silver. I have two spots on my car that a rock must have hit it. And one of the spots is actually rusting. So it's just tiny, but still. So I ordered touch up paint and it'll be delivered. I think it said Friday it would be here. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm a little annoyed. I've never, you know, I've, I'm 50. I've owned cars. I've never had this happen before, so I don't know. All right, last bag. I purchased the hard candy my store got this in. It is cherry blossom with sweet red plum and blooming freesia. It says warming mud to foam. It smells really good. Yeah, that smells good. So we're gonna try this. I don't know about this whole warming thing. Um, and it's for face and body. So that's nice. It says transform your daily skin routine with our mud to foam face and body cleanser. Watch the mud transform into a warm and gentle creamy foam. Um, dissolves makeup and gets rid of the, day, uh, the day's daily pollutants. This cleanser will leave your skin feeling refreshed, renewed, and delicately scented. I don't know, I love shower gels. And if I can get one for a dollar opposed to like $5, um, okay, I'll try it. So I grabbed that and it smells really good. I found these, their Quick Survive Fire Starter lights any fire fast. So, Here's on the back, it shows, um, you could, it burns for 10 minutes 
at 750 degrees. So there's three little sachets in here. I'm assuming they look like little tea bags. You light them and they will start a fire. So let's say you're out backpacking, you're out camping, you have a chimney, you use charcoal. This is what this is for. You wanna start a fire in your fireplace. Fantastic stuff. So I only grabbed two. Um, but if I see them, I may grab more because I do use a chimney to light my charcoal. It's a metal chimney thing and you put your charcoal in it and you put um, paper or in this case, like a, char a chimney starter under it and it will light the charcoal. I don't like charcoal fluid. So I get unfluid, just plain charcoal and then I use a chimney to start it when I do my grilling. And I have these, but actually what I bought these for is backpacking because sometimes at night we like to have a fire and these would be perfect they don't weigh anything and one of them will start the whole fire so that's what i bought these for and i'll open the package and take them out one at a time backpacking or if you're going camping or you have a bonfire in your backyard or if you have a fire pit or anything do you want to start a fire so keep them safe because they will start a fire so keep those away from the candle that's sitting next to me we don't need a fire now. Okie dokie, smoky. The one thing I, or, or yeah, the things I say I always don't need, but I did need this. They are these believe in yourself. Oh, it's a hard notebook, but it comes with your notebook and then your post-its. Um, I think these are, one of these at least is a post-it, but they're just notepads and a pen that matches. <gasps> Guys, they had three different designs, one in navy blue and white, which I really like. They had this one in a floral. I just love these. I mean, I will leave this in my kitchen because the yellow bees and goes with my lemons and write my grocery lists and just take it to go. Now from experience, I will tell you that their post-it notes from the Dollar Tree aren't real sticky but I'm not using them in that fashion. Like I just know, and there's not post-its in here. Okay, these are all just notepads, no post-it notes. Their post-its don't work real well, but these are not. They're just little, like for me, it's gonna be all about the grocery list or the list when I leave the house. Do I need cat food? Do I need kitty litter? Like I like to just go through my kitchen in my house before I do, especially like a Costco run, oh, I need ground beef or I need whatever. And it's just great to have this right on hand and it's cute. So I can just leave it like that in my kitchen and when I need it, and there's a pen attached. These would be great gifts too. And I love the bees, very um, on trend for summer. I'm throwing things on the ground now. Okay, so I grabbed that because you know, I need it. Oh, and more notebooks that I don't really need, but it's okay. These are fantastic, and I had to have them. This one says, be wild and free, and it's like a, um, just a notebook, just lined paper. But I love the front and the silver with the black. And this one says, the harder you work, the better you get. And it's the same. And they are probably 50 or 60 pages, if I had to guess. Yeah, so I love these notebooks. They're nice and big. And yeah, because I don't need more notebooks. I mean, I can justify this all day long, but I'm just gonna be honest today. I wanted them. Done. Because they're cute. Got it. Done. Um, I found, or I picked up just some more glue sticks. I like these big ones. I have two glue guns and my big one, one of mine takes these very large glue sticks. So I just grabbed a five pack. I have not had an issue with those, uh, but I would let you know if I do. I did get some Saison and this is chicken. I think it's like chicken bouillon. Con coulion, coriander and annatto. It's like a seasoning packet. Spanish, delicious. Um, yeah, I would add this with cauliflower flavoring packets or cubes I'm not sure which it says put more flavor into your dishes with Saison Goya just cook the way you always cook the same recipes the same seasonings changing nothing except for every four people your recipe serve just add one packet of the seasoning 
I think this is gonna be delicious on some of my uh, rice cauliflower. Like I'm gonna cook it up and then add a packet of this and I think that'll give it a fantastic flavor. I just love getting different seasoning packets. Then I found this. And guys, this is Crabtree and Evelyn. This is definitely a name brand. It is avocado, olive, and basil ultra moisturizing hand therapy. Now, anybody my age knows Crabtree and Evelyn. They used to have stores. I don't know if they still do. But, you know, my hands are dry and these are great. No real scent to it. I'm going to put some on just a little bit. Let's see. Hi, Alex. Are you back? He's upset because his brother's laying on the bushes. Has a little bit of a like florally scent to it, but it's nice and smooth. Oh, I like that a lot. That'll feel good. It feels nice. So I grabbed two of them. Again, my crazy tells me to buy two, but when I saw that this was Crabtree and Evelyn, you know, you kind of have to. So I love that. And I love the size because I just put those in my purse and call it. Now, the last things I picked up, guys. You're gonna be excited for me. I found some more of the metal. I did get the red truck. Well, the, silk, the galvanized truck. And I like that there's already a little bit of black on here, so I really wouldn't have to do anything to this if I wanted to add it to my decor. So I found one of the trucks in that position. And then I think I found this, which I don't, it's a metal truck, but it's the back view. And I could write something on there for like fall. Put some apples maybe, or happy fall y'all. I don't know. I just grabbed one of each of these because I didn't feel like I needed to. Since they are already printed, I really don't even have to do anything with them to add them to a wreath or add them to some decor. So I found those two pieces. Now, then I found um, the galvanized stars and you get three of them and I really enjoy this a lot so I got three galvanized stars and then I grabbed three packs of the galvanized numbers here is something interesting I found though so these are the numbers and you get one through zero so you only get ten in here at first I was like, oh, I could um, use these for my advent calendar and do like a one to 25 and hang this. No, girl, you're not. Because as many packages I would need, if you only get one, one, and one, two, I would need a lot. I didn't do the math, but when I decided it was more than 10, I said, uh, no. But I did get two of these because I think I might like, or three of them, I might want to make, um, for my front door like put my address on it or something i do have numbers on the outside but something like that or something with just a few numbers because really i can only do a number sequence that has three three ones three of each number so or like one double digit something of that nature but they're nice and big these are several inches um maybe like four inches three inches two and a half inches tall the letters are tiny. They don't match the size, which I found very odd. So my this one store had just put this stuff out and they had a pack of letters and it was like A through M and then O through Z. You got one letter, but they were like a quarter of the size. They were tiny little letters. I'm like, why don't they match the numbers? Crazy, but so I didn't get the letters because they were small and anything I would new, need to do like that, I would use my Cricut to just cut them out. I can use like a metallic color vinyl. So that's everything that I got this week at my Dollar Trees. And I do get a lot of comments. I do not get all this stuff at one specific trip or one specific Dollar Tree. So I have a route that I take. I have three main Dollar Trees that I will go to, three. Um, and, and they're all like kind of in a row. One is down here, my house is here, and then two are up this direction. So throughout the week, I will go one night, I'll go to this one. And then another day, I'll go to these two. And then maybe I'll go back. The one in Reynoldsburg, but the closest to me is the best store. Um, so I go there pretty frequently. Like I may go twice a week, but I, this is many trips. So that's the thing when I, I get comments, oh, you're, you know, you're lucky. And I am very lucky. My stores are very well stocked, but 
I'm not catching all of this stuff at the same time. I'm going multiple times a week to get different items to share with you. So I just wanted to be clear on that. And so you're not feeling like your store stink and maybe they do, I don't know, but I have to go frequently to get the things. You know, the, the bottle cap metal tins that I found when I went, there was a couple on the shelf, but I went back another day and they were gone. And they, you know, who knows when they'll stock them again. So it's hard, it's hard for me too. I just have to be, you know, this is part of what I do. So I'm try, I try to be diligent about going frequently. So I just wanted to kind of drop that out there and let you know that I don't find all this stuff at one time at one store. So I hope that is helpful for you. All right, I gotta put all this away and I might go to the pool today. It's 11.15, if I'm good and get all my stuff done, I might go to the pool and read my book. All right, guys, I hope you have a good one. I will talk with you later.